Good morning, boys and girls of Tortuga Preserve. I am Mrs. P. Some of you know me because I've been here for a long time. Love, love, love your administration. Thank you, Dr. Lee Master and Miss Elizabeth Feliciano for allowing myself and my colleague, Miss Sharon, to come here and be on the morning news. What we're going to do is we work with the program called Learning for Life, which is a social skills and life skills. And especially for the teachers, what we're going to be doing is, with the help of your wonderful TV production specialist, Miss Allison Neal, we are going to be coming here once a month and taping a character trait word of the month. Today is January 20th and we are being taped on the word commitment character trait. And then you're going to get to see little snippets of it every day for the next four to five days on the morning news. And this way we get to share with you and teach you about character education, which is social skills and life skills. Before we get started, drugs is a deadly game. We have a gift for you, and this is choose to refuse. And every student in your classes if your teacher chooses to, can have this wonderful booklet, which is also teaching character traits. Just let Mr. Gleason know if and when you choose to use the drugs is a deadly game as a lesson. Inside here is all about drug substance abuse. And get, get this, guys. You ready? Here it comes. Check out that cool poster. You get to learn a lot of things about the body and what happens when drugs are intake. So this is just another way another resource and tool for the teachers to share with you. Boys and girls, Mrs. P. and Ms. Sharon also brings with us, when we come to visit you, this is a safety seekers game. It's an activity book. It's a comic book and a coloring book all in one. And it's good for reading practices for your FCATs and doing different activities. So there's another wonderful resource tool. Of course, we also bring with us from Zoomers. Anybody ever go to Zoomers? This is a free mini golf for a family of four. And they're the Zoomers Amusement Park on Summerlin Parkway in Fort Myers. And last but not least, don't forget about our Learning for Life Scott Talent Show, our sixth annual one. This is being held next month, February 13th, at four o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday at South Fort Myers High. We're looking for talented singers, dancers, instrumentalists, and also theatrical or skits. So please bring us your talent, get an application from your counselor or from Mrs. P. And now we're going to start our wonderful character trait word of the month commitment for January from Miss Sharon. Hello boys and girls. Today we're gonna to be talking about a very, very important character trait. I'm so excited to be able to share everything or most of what I found out about this character trait. This character trait for the month of January is commitment. Commitment is responsibility. Commitment is loyalty. Commitment is devotion. Commitment is saying, I had this very smart second grader tell me this a couple days ago. Commitment is saying something that you're gonna do and then actually following through and doing it. That is commitment. Commitment is taking responsibility. So I want to show you just a little video about commitment. Hello, boys and girls. In today's character development module, we're going to learn about responsibility. Part of being responsible is learning how to make the right choices in the words we use, in the way we treat people, and in always doing what we say we are going to do. In all parts of the world, in homes, schools, businesses, shops, and hospitals, there is a person that is in charge. It's important for us to realize why these people are in charge so that we follow their instructions. People in charge have authority and are responsible for making decisions. Today we'll find out what authority really means and identify people we know who have authority. You are making choices all the time too. You choose what to say, who your friends are, and the way you act, don't you? As you grow up, some of the choices that you make may affect you for a long time. We will learn how making good choices helps us reach goals we have set for ourselves. We will think of goals we want to set for ourselves and think about the choices we need to make to reach those goals. Making good choices not only helps us reach our goals, it also helps us feel better about ourselves. 
we will look at how our choices can help us be happier and why it's so important for us to make good choices. Sometimes we make choices before we really think about them and all of their consequences. Today, we will come up with ideas to help us think through choices carefully before we make a decision. We'll also talk about the types of gangs that exist and learn how to recognize bad behavior in groups and avoid being pressured into joining in the bad behavior of a group or gang. Finally, we will look at the importance of priorities. Priorities are simply things that we put first. We all have to prioritize things in our lives. Today, we will learn how to divide our tasks into must do, should do, and want to do so that we can better meet our deadlines. By the end of this module, you will better understand what it means to be responsible in respecting authority and setting goals. You will also learn to think through making good choices and how to avoid gains and bad choices. Finally, you will learn that when you have the right priorities, it is easier to make good choices.